Good afternoon and welcome to Midday Prayer on this, the Feast of Corpus Christi. My name is Gordon, I am Church Warden here at St Matthew and St Luke's in Darlington and I've pre-recorded this service simply because I'm using a, what for me is a new piece of software and so I want to get used to it before um, I go live for evening prayer on Sunday. Um, hopefully this will help you join in with the service a bit more and if you could say the, the words when they appear on the screen that are in yellow. St. Paul writes, The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. O God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. And so we sing our hymn for today, um, Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. In Him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord the Holy One is here. Be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor he is crowned. How awesome is the sight our radiant King of light, be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal to minister his grace. No work too hard for him, in faith receive from him. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. So our psalm set for today is Psalm 116, from verses 10 to the end. What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your serving maid. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And our reading for today is from St. Paul's first letter to the Christians in Corinth, chapter 11. Paul writes, For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, This is my body, that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Today is the feast of Corpus Christi, when we celebrate the presence of Christ with us through the Eucharist, through bread and wine. I don't intend to talk at all about transubstantiation or a consubstantiation or how it works. What I want to talk about follows on from what I was talking about at evening prayer on Sunday. That notion of community, that notion of radical inclusion. I was talking about this book, Dietrich Bonhoeffer's Life Together, which is his blueprint for a communal life. And towards the end of the book, Bonhoeffer talks about the centrality of the Eucharist and what it means in a, a faith community. Bonhoeffer writes, Reconciled in their hearts with God and the brethren, the congregation receives the body and blood of Jesus Christ, and receiving that, it receives forgiveness, new life and salvation. The fellowship of the Lord's Supper is the superlative fulfilment of Christian fellowship. We often forget that at the heart of our Eucharist is a meal. We gather around the Lord's table together to share a meal. And sharing a meal with someone is a sign that you accept them. You accept them fully as a human being with all their warts and all their sins, all that they do to rankle you, all that we do to rankle them. It goes out of the window because we come together as one body, the body of Christ. And we put out the same empty hands. And we all receive the same wafer. We all receive the same wine. And we are told something extraordinary. This is the body of Christ which was given for you. This was the blood of Christ, which is shed for you. Everyone, no matter who they are, no matter what they have done, puts out the same empty hands and they all receive exactly the same. God welcomes each and every one of us with the same joy, the same fellowship and the same love because we need to remember God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Amen. So we come to our time of prayer. O 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear us when we pray to you in faith. We thank you for the gift of the Eucharist, that it may bind the Church together as one body. We pray for priests throughout the world, for those who celebrate the Eucharist. In particular today we pray for those who are preparing for ordination to priesthood, for those who have had their ordination set back because of the Covid crisis. We pray for all who will support them in the coming weeks and months. We pray for our own Diocese and Director of Ordinance, Alistair. We give thanks for the work that he does in promoting vocations. For all those who are on that journey of discernment, whether it be for ordained or lay ministry. And we pray for all those who feel cut off from the life of the church as they cannot receive communion at the moment. O oh, gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May God, who clothes the lilies and feeds the birds of the sky, who leads the lambs to pasture and the deer to water, who multiplies loaves and fishes and changed water into wine, lead us, feed us, multiply us, and change us to reflect the glory of our Creator, now and through all eternity. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be among us and with those whom we love, this day and always. Amen. So I hope you have found this um, service of Midday Prayer useful today. Um, tomorrow Lissa will be leading Holy Communion using the traditional language of the Old Book of Common Prayer. That will be on our Facebook page from 10 o'clock on Saturday I will be um, in my living room um, with my daughter. We will be leading a family service live at three o'clock and on Sunday uh, we have our telephone service uh, morning prayer at 9.30 and on Facebook we have um, Holy Communion in Modern Language at 10 o'clock and I will be back here live for evening prayer at six o'clock. So I hope that you have 
the, a blessed day, that you stay safe for the rest of the week, and that we can be together again soon.